Welcome back cadet. Today's training session is on ordering decimals. A new group of trainees worked in teams to complete the rope course. Here are their times listed in seconds. I need to put them in order from least to greatest because the fastest team doesn't have to clean the mess hall for the rest of the week. I've also got a number line here to help me. The first thing to do is plot these points on the number line and get these scores lined up by the decimals. I sure love me some straight lines. Any missing numbers in the lineup? Take a look at the iguana team. Since there is no number in the hundreds, we'll put a zero to help make it easier when ordering these scores. Two of the numbers have two is in the tens place and two of the numbers have three is in the tens place. Let's look at the two is first as they are smaller than three. Since the tens place is the same for both the rooster and the iguana team, I have to go to the ones place to keep comparing. In the ones place I see rooster team has eight and iguana team has a nine. This means the rooster team's time was less than iguana's team's time. We can also look at the number line to see which time is farthest to the right because as we move right on the number line, the numbers increase. Rooster team finished the fastest, followed closely by Guanas team. I am going to keep ordering these decimals so I have a complete list for my records. Ostrich team and Taser Monkey team both have three is in their tens place. I now look to the ones place, but both numbers are five is. Cadet, you have probably figured this out, but now I am moving to the tens place to compare. Ostrich team has a zero in the tenths place, while Taser Monkey team has a four. This means the Ostrich team's time is less than Taser Monkey team's time. It's official. Rooster team will not have to clean the mess hall for the rest of the week. Don't cry Taser Monkey team, you can get them next time. Now drop and give me 20.